With the final weekend of full dress rehearsals for the 2014 Vodacom Super Rugby season done and dusted, it was a good start for the coastal teams, the Sharks and the Stormers. In Johannesburg, the Lions' fringe players were like lambs to the slaughter in their final warm-up match against a full-strength Sharks team that annihilated them at Ellis Park. The visitors romped to an early lead and seemed to cross the whitewash when they were in the mood. This point was emphasised only 90 seconds into the match when Sharks wing Odwan Nungani found his way over the try line after an initial break by flyhoff Pat Lambie. Play came to an abrupt stop in the fourth minute when match referee Jason Jafta had to be stretched off the field with what seemed like a knee injury. But that brief distraction did little to suppress the Sharks' relentless attack on the Lions' advantage line as they took a two-pronged approach through driving walls up front and swift hands at the back. Lambie spearheaded the Sharks' attack through solid tactical kicking while he also launched dangerous attacking runs himself. And Dungani again crossed the whitewash in the 14th minute after he gathered an SPMRA grubber kick inside the Lions' 22 to dot down with Lambie again converting. Just four minutes later, it was Springbok lock Peter Steff de Toy who got onto the score sheet as he pied his way over the line after some really good interplay between the Sharks players. Good work from the captain and away he goes. Lambie converted to take the score to 19-0 before a moment of brilliance by the Sharks pivot led to their third try of the evening. Direct rugby right up the middle and then with ball in hand he spotted Loazi and Volvo on the left wing and lobbed the ball to the flyer who did well to control it and to go over in the corner where there was little room to manoeuvre as it was. With a half-time break looming, the Sharks struck another debilitating blow when centre Francois Stein had an easy passage over the try line. A powerful platform. Lambie again in very good form and holding the pass to just the right second and then converting to give his side an imposing 31-0 lead. White made wholesale changes for the second half as he sent his entire bench onto the park while the Lions made some minor changes. The Sharks continued though where they left off with replacement centre Subura Setole scoring his first five-pointer of the game just four minutes into the second half. with Fred Zielinger this time converting. While the hosts seemed more combative after the break, the changes to the Sharks team also stemmed some of the momentum they had in the first 40. The visitors nevertheless continued their march when Stefan Levis scored from a driving more from a lineup which Zielinger again converted, 38 points to nil. The Lions did though finally get onto the scorecard when Stefan Vermeulen added the first try to their score sheet, but the respite was short-lived as the Sharks again came back at them. The conversion too was spot on, but on the other side of the park, Jakob van Tondo waited and then capitalised in the 65th minute. The home side finally found their way over the line again when fullback Kuni van Wijk added a five-pointer two minutes just before end time, which he converted himself to take the score to 50 points to 14. But it was too little too late. And the Sharks had the final say when Satoli grabbed his brace with Zielinger converting for a comprehensive 57 points to 14 victory. Jake White and his whole crew certainly showed that their preparations were spot on for Super Rugby 2014. I think if you look at the scoreline, I am worried. Um, but then again, the second half was, I think, almost 14 all or something like that. I don't think there was a big margin. I think the guys in the first half was a bit big eye, shell shock with that start. 
and it, it took the, the wind out of the guys. And if you've got you know, guys there that hasn't played at that level and they see or they get that kind of pressure, they're going to... That's, the, that's, that's going to be a massive uh, uh, learning curve for them, you know. Um, the feedback that I got from, from behind the post was that the guys are really quiet and uh, you know, I think they realised the, the tempo of the game and, and the quality of the opposition and I think it took them a, a while before they really, you know, acknowledge what, where they are. So, so again, that, that's what I don't want in three, four, five weeks' time.